Hello everybody, today we're taking a look at another free malware removal program. This one is called Panda Cloud Scanner, and of course this is by Panda Security. And yeah, funny name, Panda, but they've been around a few years and they seem to specialize in this whole cloud anti-malware thing, so uh, we're looking for good results today. Hopefully it works fairly well. And let's go ahead and Yahoo this. Panda Cloud, oh, it's Panda Cloud Cleaner, excuse me. I botched the name. I don't think it really matters, though. Anyway, Panda Cloud Cleaner dot pandasecurity.com slash Facebook for some reason. Scan your PC for free with Panda Cloud Cleaner. The free disinfector. All right, let's download it. 31 megabytes. And we're just going to go ahead and save this first, and then we'll run some malware, and then boot into safe mode, and try to run the cloud cleaner. So unlike Viper, this is only 31 megabytes, so not too big of a deal, but download is kind of slow. I mean, come on. Little over half a megabyte a second. And of course, this is the first time I've used this program or done anything with Panda Cloud Cleaner, so uh, we'll see how it goes. I hope it works. I hope it's a fairly simple program. Hope I don't look too dumb making this video, but we'll see. I don't know why it's going so slow all of a sudden. Come on. Come on. What are we doing? What is this? Why is it like throttling? Are we going to get going? Oh, oh, come on. What happened to the speed? No, really, what happened to the speed here? It's just gone. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What is happening? Oh, it's just gonna keep going down. What is this? Well, I guess we're gonna play Solitaire until it finishes. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to enable Solitaire. Whoops. We're using professional, so no games enabled by default. You have to turn them on in Windows features. There we go. <sighs> what a ridiculous server. Download server. Bullshit. Taking forever. Oh yeah, I'm leaving this in the video. You better believe it. Oh, thank the lord, it finally finished. I don't care about this game. Alright, so we finally have the file. I had no idea it was going to take that long to download. Yeah, it was probably only like three minutes, but it feels a lot longer. So, let's check out our malware folder. These are all fairly recent. Today is the 19th, and we have files from the 16th and the 18th. So, we should get some good uh, results here. Let's see. Oh, God. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, I probably sh Oh, shoot. Oh, let's get some of these in there. Trojandropper.scr. Oh, it's lagging out. It's lagging big time. Oh, we got SpongeBob down here. What's this? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. What the hell is going on? Get out of here. All right. Anything else? Let's get some of these. Cool image. Nice. Oh, what? <laughs> what the hell? That's some good, some good image. I tell you what. Okay, so our computer is pretty well infected now. Yeah, it's good to go. We've got Chrome and all these malwares. So this computer is plenty infected. Let's see if... Actually, let's see if we can run this in regular mode. We don't even have to bother going into safe mode. It's got this cool, like, whatever, XP theme going on. All right, let's launch the cleaner. Got our license agreement here. That's nice. Advanced tools. We can kill all processes, unlock some files, or send files to Panda. Let's see if kill all works. Go. Oh, well, that was pretty cool. It seems like it worked so far oh well it almost worked I mean we have a few uh, things here running that are malicious but you know that cleared out a lot of crap so I have to say that was sort of effective uh, we can analyze our PC or analyze other elements what's other oh well yeah let's just scan the C drive then so, of course, this is a cloud scanning thing, so I guess it gets its um, uh, or malicious signatures from uh, some web server. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and then come back when Panda Cloud Cleaner is finished scanning. Okay, so the scan just finished, and now it's sending the results to the cloud. Uh, so it should be done here fairly shortly. And, yeah, like I said, it's a cloud scanner, and it's not really something I mentioned. Well, I didn't mention it, but I didn't, like, I guess more clearly explain the point of the cloud scanner. Uh, well, we don't really think of this as a big deal in the year 2015 that you are watching this video, but this uh, program requires a an internet connection. So if that's for some reason a problem, I really wouldn't recommend using any kind of cloud scanning anti-malware program like this. But most of us nowadays do have a constant internet connection. So anyway... The scan has completed, everything has completed, and we have 141 elements. Um, hmm, these are some odd results. Odd in the sense that, okay, so we got this 12142, clean, clean, system clean, uh, clean it. You just get rid of it all. Why not? So now it is applying disinfection. And of course we set it to scan the whole drive, so this should remove the files in this folder. What's going on down here? Oh, debugger. Get out of here. Whoa. Uh, task manager is screwed up. <laughs> I was going to see how many files were running, if any, and yeah, 
task manager is a bit broken at the moment. I'm sure it's an easy fix. And there's still a lot of files in here. It did clean 127 files, so that's pretty good. Cleaned 14 registry entries. Oh, it did fix uh, Task Manager. Very nice, very nice. So that is convenient that it uh, does that. That's cool. And it does not appear that... It does not appear to be any malware running, so... So far a good result, but of course, we're always looking for a second opinion, so... No, I'm not satisfied with this result. I'm not giving you a yes. Oh, I guess I will. All right, that's fine. I thought it would make me go to their Facebook page or something, which I would rather not do. So, of course, second opinion, we're going to go ahead and download Malwarebytes and scan and see if there's anything left over. Now, of course, as we saw, there are files in that, uh, that main folder, but I don't think there's anything running at the moment, so that may be good. But, of course, we will see. Let's just see if it deleted anything. No, it didn't delete anything extra, so that's good. And you know what? It may have been Panda doing the whatever blocking task manager. I'm not really sure. But for some reason, it's still running. I don't know what that's about. And it installed itself. Well, I guess we knew it installed itself. But it's running for some reason and using 180 megabytes of memory, which is a bit much, I must say. I know it's a cloud program and all that, so I'm sure it's doing some excellent internet things, like sending all of our data to pandas everywhere. Oh, it's gone now. Good. All right. So we're in Malwarebytes. We're going to go ahead and just do a uh, quick scan, or a threat scan, excuse me. I'm getting all my names wrong right now. So we're just going to do a threat scan and see what it finds. BRB. Okay, so the Malwarebytes scan completed, and we have quite a few threats that Panda did not pick up on. Now, these are not in the desktop folder. These are, I guess, whatever... Uh, Malwarebytes classifies as a threat scan. So we have a few JPEGs, some executables, very nice. We'll go ahead and apply actions. And let's just go ahead and scan this M folder. We have 37 files, and let's see what it finds. Main menu. Now this is something I just thought of that I'm sure people will complain about and they'll say, but Rogamp, Rogamp 2, Rujamp, uh, you scanned using Panda in regular mode and that may have skewed the results. And I really don't think that's true because uh, Panda left quite a few files in this folder here and I think it would have missed those files regardless of being in regular or safe mode. Mm, Malwarebytes also missed quite a few. So we have 18 out of 37 files. That's interesting. For whatever reason, Malwarebytes seems to have missed a bunch of files, so... None of these, of course, are perfect, but overall, I think Panda Cloud Cleaner is a, you know, it's a decent tool. It comes with that, uh, it's sort of like our kill, it kills processes, so that's pretty convenient, but honestly, I think you're really just wasting your time with a program like that when you can just, you know, run a free scan with this program and, you know, find, you generally get better results with this program, so... Personally, I would not really recommend Panda. I just don't think it's up to par. So, thank you all very much for watching, and take care.